All right, David Harry here. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing three things. Thing number one is to make an apology. Thing number two is to do something mad. And by something mad, I think you've already guessed the something mad that I'm doing. And then thing number three is to explain what I'm going to be doing over the next week or so to do with this X2 microphone. So, Thing number one is the apology. So a massive apology and a big sorry to Tech Zone. What it is, Tech Zone sent me this microphone. It must be about four to five months ago now, and I have dragged my heels so much on it. So Tech Zone, I'm really sorry about this. I, I'm, I'm definitely not trying to like back out from doing anything with the mic. I was just bogged down with stuff. Um, do you know what? I, I'm not even going to say anything why it's late. It's just late, and it's my fault, and it's stupid, and I'm sorry. However, I'm. I'm fairly sure that over the next week I will more than make up for that for the things that I'm going to do with it. Okay, now the something mad. Okay, well, the something mad is this it's using the Stella X2 as a wireless vlogging microphone. Now, just quickly, the way I've got this set up is the X2 is joined onto a Saramonic Smart Rig. The Saramonic Smart Rig is necessary to power and to preamp the X2. Uh, also, as well, the X2 wouldn't quite plug straight into the Saramonic hence why I've got this little extender basically it's just like a male to female XLR extender and then underneath that I've got a 3.5 male to male adapter which connects my converted Saramonic preamplifier to the mic input on the transmitter of a Rode Wireless Go so that is the setup now the only thing is this is obviously a studio condenser mic they're very sensitive I'm outdoors it is a bit breezy the breeze is probably going to be interfering, unfortunately, because I've only got the foam filter that comes with the X2. Anyways, because it is wireless, let me just walk around a little bit with it here. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing then is a bunch of videos now, uh, maybe over this next week coming and stuff. Maybe, may, maybe over the next two weeks, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to pan out just yet. But the first thing I'm going to do is the unboxing video for the X2, because um, what it was... Tech Zone got in touch and asked me would I do an unboxing and a test of the mic and an honest appraisal and all that kind of stuff and absolutely I'll be doing that. But after that, I think I'll be doing at least three videos. Um, hopefully I'll keep them very... I can't say they're going to be very short, actually. <laughs> they will be very focused videos, though. So one video is going to be using the X2 uh, as an OBS microphone. Now, I've already been doing this anyway with some of my videos. I've just not let people know that I've been doing it because I didn't kind of want to spoil like the, the impact of doing the video specifically about it. Now, it is breezy right now. The breeze is picking up. I'm hoping that this isn't wiping the mic out. I'm trying to put me back to whichever way the breeze is coming from here. Um, anyways, yet yeah, so doing an OBS thing with it, so that's going to be quite cool because it is awesome as an OBS microphone. I've been using it for some of my uh, like my tutorial type things, but that that doubles for anything that you would use OBS for. Then on top of that, what I'm going to be doing, which is a very similar process actually, is using it as a gaming microphone, uh, which I've also already been doing as well. Uh, and it's, it's an amazing gaming mic basically. So yeah, I'll be doing that, using it as a gaming mic. And then the third other thing that I can think about doing, which is very specific and hopefully something that's going to be really useful for X2 owners, is uh, three different ways to be able to to use it with a camera like I am now. Um, I mean, the way that I'm using it right now is very unorthodox. It's not something that I'm going to recommend doing because indoors it is completely unnecessary to do anything like this wirelessly. Um, but basically, I'm going to be using three different ways to preamp and to power the microphone going into a camcorder. Now, that could be for anything like a DSLR or a mirrorless or a camcorder or a video camera. It doesn't matter. The process will be the same for any type of camera that has a 3.5 millimeter microphone input so there's going to be three distinct ways for people to be able to power and preamp so i'll do that video there's a couple of other things i've kind of got banging around in the back of my head to do with it as well which i'll kind of get into as and when i kind of like solidify these ideas into being proper videos <laughs> Actually, I forgot to mention there was a fourth thing as well to do, which is very specific, and that is to use the X2, which is what I'm on here, with my iPad Pro 2021. So, as you can see there with this camera, that is my iPad Pro 2021. So, I'm going to be doing a video on how to do this setup and use the X2 in conjunction with the iPad Pro 2021. 
basically for an iPad Pro 2021 vloggy bloggy setup thing. Anyways, yeah, just a quick thing here while I'm at it. <laughs> right, I'm not entirely sure. I, I've got to do a lot of weird gaining with this setup because uh, I'm trying to avoid clipping and stuff at the at the actual camera's input mic inputs. Oh, sorry, yeah, this is the Sony ZV-1 that I'm on right now. But nonetheless, let me just give you uh, an, an idea of what the noise level is like. Okay, now the thing with that noise level there, that is gained loads in post as well in order to get this healthy output. So just bear that in mind, it is like got a massive gain on it. Now what I'm going to do is do a cardio pattern test. <laughs> so this is the microphone completely on axis to me. That is the mic at 190 degree axis to me. And then that is the microphone 180 degrees off axis, basically pointing away from me as far as its cardioid polar pattern is concerned. And then that is the other 90 degree axis there. And then that is the microphone back on axis. <laughs> yeah, so basically, yeah, it is a cardioid. It's not a super or a hype, it's just a standard cardioid. Anyways, yeah, so I think that should just about do it for this video then. So I've made me apology. I've done something mad and I've given people an idea of what's coming up to do with this microphone anyways yeah if you're into the stuff that i've done with this i'll have some links in the description to the video i, I don't know if i can find everything that i've used here but if people want to try like crazy stuff like this for themselves i'll try and find as many of the links to these things as i can and throw them down in the, the you know in the description and that also so if you've liked the video please give it a big thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel and getting all over that bell notification icon like it's going out of fashion just a quick cut here what it is my memory card just filled up and i've had to delete something to continue anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now